Hello everybody, welcome back to another video of me trying to get to number one on the ranked ladder using just incredibly fun teams. I wanted to start this video off by uh, just sharing the rental code. Um, just thought I might as well share it up and clear out all the rental teams that I did have on my, um, just on my, you know, shared teams area. So I cleared them all out. Uh, just so I can start sharing the teams that I'm using in these videos if you guys are ex like wanting to try them out and wanting to kind of You know share them with your friends without having to spend the resources. Here is the rental code right here um, If you guys want to be able to look into that and just play around with the team for the killer tire team Here it is. I hope you guys have a lot of fun with it But now it is time for me to actually switch on over to a different core. This was so much fun for Maridon, but today we gotta share the beautiful, beautiful team of the Laser Beam team. Now, yes, Expanding Force might be better, you might think. Oh, <laughs> you might think, but nah, we're gonna go with the Prismatic Laser, okay? Someone's getting hit with it today. And we're gonna actually be running um, the Crosmo with the Power Herb. Terra Rock Meteor Beam in the Sandstorm. Now this team, it's a little silly, but I'm gonna show it's gonna, it's gonna do some work. This might be a little bit harder to get some victories with the, than the last team, to be honest. However, this team, it cooks, okay? Okay, don't doubt it. Don't doubt the, the laser, okay? Don't doubt the prismatic laser. Just don't do it, okay? Don't do it. Now let's get into some battles. Let me stop wasting your guys' time. We're gonna go into the ranked battles. We're gonna see where we're at. We are, oh wow, we're still doing pretty good. We're still at 684. That's not bad. We're gonna go with the Legends of Alola because Necrozma is a legend from Alola. We're gonna keep that simple, okay? It's gonna be nice and simple, super easy. Now we got 1375 is their rating. Looks like they've got kind of a standard decorate smeargle type stuff. Let's see what we can do here. Like I said, they probably got decorate smeargle. Um, I really don't want to have to deal with. I mean, trick room from them actually isn't like super bad, right? And normally these decorate smeargles are slow, and I mean like really slow. So, I actually think it might be okay just to start like this. Um, and, you know, they can have one of two options. They either stop the rock slide with um, wide guard, or they go for spore. Or they follow me. Like, either or, I think I'm in a pretty solid spot. Now, for their trick room, they have a blood moon. My blood moon's a little quicker, so it's a little scary. I'll still bring it. We can reverse the trick room. We need to hit the laser, okay? That's the whole reason everyone is here, is to see the laser. We gotta see the laser go off. And I think I'm just gonna go with Ndidi, just for that background support, and to make the laser stronger. Cause you want the laser to be at full power, okay? A full powered laser is a happy laser. Look at him holding his Fluttermane. What a guy. What a guy. Knows how to hold its flutter. Urshi Dark Smeargle. Hmm. Yeah, this might be crazy. I don't care. I don't care. They're not gonna see it coming. They are not going, oh, well, you know, close combat into Necrozma. If that happens, <laughs> oh my gosh, what a, what a brutal beginning that would be. That would make me just incredibly sad, to be honest. Like, that would make me incredibly sad. Let's see what they end up going for, though. Let's see. And I don't care what kind of Urshifu this is, okay? This would hurt. This will hurt anybody. Oh, what? What is that? Oh, that's not cool, man. Why would you go for fake out? <laughs> oh, no. 
Oh no, it's okay. I'm coping. I'm definitely coping. Okay. Um. I'm gonna go with Ndidi. They might. Hmm. I mean. I'm not really a super big threat to them with Titar right now. Because I don't have a fighting type move. Hmm. I think I'm gonna just go for Rock Slide again. And switch. I'm really sad about how that turned out. They fake outed my Necrozma. It's crazy. Just crazy. Craziness up in here. Goes for another Wicked Blow. Very much understandable. Okay. Now let's get rid of this Smeargle. They're going for a Rock Slide. Now these Smeargles are super slow. I can't believe that Rock Slide did not kill. I need to check my Titar. Like that? That doesn't add up. Like, I get they put investment into their Smeargles. Like, I get that, okay? However... Like, it has like 20 defense. I mean, I've got 204 attack. That's crazy. That's crazy to me. But I have a feeling that that's banded damage from the Urshi. So, oh, let me bring out their Blood Moon. How fun. We can have a Blood Moon party. We're just going to try to wake up here. Um, I'm gonna go for, like, I could go for Blood Moon just to take out their Blood Moon, but I think, like, what they're gonna do is, yeah, they're gonna give me their Urshi, <laughs> and that is a Mon that I want a lot more than their Blood Moon, so, my Blood Moon's pretty quick, so, I'm fine with that. Let's see what they go for. Do they just go for a Hyper Voice on their own? Yeah. Perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. All right, comes down to this, huh? Ooh, okay. So I'm pretty sure knockoff will get the blood moon. Um, biggest thing is, is I just have to be faster than um, Calyrex and I'll take this. If I am not, might be bad. And it might be, it will be bad, okay? We don't want it to be bad. Is it Terra Water? Should I have hit it with the laser? Oh. Why? I'm confused. Like, if I'm faster, you're, you're done. Yay! Get it! Yes! Good job, Titar! Proud of you! Look at you go! We got it! Be faster! Yes! <laughs> okay, now we just need a hit. We need to hit it. Okay. Yes! That thing is gone! Okay, perfect. We got it. We got it. I can't believe Smeargle is that bulky. Like, I was all questioning my Tyranitar's build. I'm like, is Tyranitar hitting hard enough? But it's, it's hitting just fine. It's hitting just fine. And look at that. Look at that. Instead of holding Flutter Mains, you're holding L's. Yeah. I said it. Look at that. We score one game victory. Okay. Now, let's see how much farther we can go. Four more battles. 582. Almost to top 500. Who? Look at that. The laser team is coming up, man. We're gonna get it. We're gonna get it. Steam Cooks. 
Nobody's gonna see it coming. They're like, Psh. stupid expanding force team. And it's like, no, it's not. It's more sophisticated. See, now that's an expanding force team. My team's more sophisticated. Like I'm saying, I hit people with the laser. Oh man. I really want to lead like this, right? And then bring in Titar. Because, like, I expect them to lead with, uh, like, Lily Cole. I expect Lily Cole as a lead. So, like, what I can do is I can just do that. And then, effectively, I can bring in... And I could do the same thing with Excadrill, too. Excadrill's kind of cool here. I just don't like Sleep Powder, right? Like, Sleep Powder kind of scares me. I don't like that. It makes me not happy. <laughs> um... I might want to just bring Excadrill. Because then I just take out Lilligan, like, immediately. And then I bring in T-Tar. I like that. I'm actually going to do that. Yeah. I don't think I needed Ndidi. That is a misclick. But, you know what? Because I think Urshifu would have been a lot better. <laughs> but, it's okay. It is okay. Let's see here. Okay. Okay. I think I'm alright with this. Um, you probably want to go for, I just don't want Trick Room to go up. Like, that's my thing. So I might just Trick Room the Trick Room. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to Trick Room the Trick Room. Okay. Who's coming out? Yeah. Ooh! That was good damage. No way! Why? I don't understand that at all! <laughs> Kill Ndidi. Do it. No! That's so bad! Um... You most likely go for, like, Wide Guard Earthquake. Oh, I hate this for myself. I was trying, like... Oh, no. <laughs> Existential Dread. Um... You know, I could just follow me here. I'm gonna do that. I'm actually gonna do that. Because I wanna break the... I wanna break your... Your Luna. Let's break it. I don't wanna do anything crazy. Watch out, like, substitute or something. Okay, perfect. They were ready. Okay. I need to reverse the trick room. I'm gonna go for it. Because I need to reverse this trick room. Well, do I? I actually think I might have messed up. Because, like... You get Excadrill here, right? You have to follow me. And, like, Earthquake would be the move you go for, right? I 
that's what I'm gonna do. I like this play. I actually like this play a lot. This is a good play. I'm reversing it. Do you just go for like headlong? That'd be gross. Why? Like Excadrill can attack too. I'm so confused, but okay. I'm just gonna get swept this time because I, that turn one, I way overread them. Way overread them. Like it was bad, but you know what? It's okay. How many turns of Trick Room are left? Hmm. How many turns of Trick Room are left? We have two turns of Trick Room. So. I have two options here. You know what? I'm going for this. I'm gonna have to play pretty aggressive if I wanna get back into this match. Like, I don't see them going for Earthquake. I should have seen that they wanted to just headlong rush, and I should have just switched into T Tar and Earthquake and taken out two Mons. Do they just Earthquake? I mean, Earthquake would be the best play, to be honest. Yeah. GG. GG. That was a good... It was, it was well played by my opponent. Like, the only thing that bugs me is that first turn. It's like, they didn't even really think about... Like, they thought for sure, super hard read right there. Like, that was the hardest read ever. Them going and saying, oh, they're going to trick room. So, I mean, that's such a gamble. That play was such a gamble. Because, like, if I didn't click Trick Room there, and I just click, you know, anything... Like, if I click Helping Hand there, it's over. Crazy. Crazy to me. But that's okay. That's okay. You can't win them all. We'll get there. Okay? We will get there. See, it didn't even count. We're still at 583. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. We got Lauren at 128. Running. Oh, wow. What a team. Okay. Ooh, I like this team. This is going to be fun. This will be an interesting team. Um. So, instantly speaking, like, I, I do want to kind of get rid of... We got to get rid of Weezing, right? So, how we can do that is... Blood Moon can do that pretty well. And uh, T-Tar as a lead. Um, they're going to be very much incentivized to... Uh, well, I think they lead with... Uh, you know what? Let's, I kind of like this. I kind of like that as my lead. It might seem a bit passive, but... Well... I like this. We're going to do this. I'm switching my mind a lot. But you know what? We're here to showcase the sand. Once I get rid of Excadrill, I mean, this is pretty much... This... Or, I mean, get rid of Excadrill. Oh, my gosh. Get rid of Weezing. Excadrill can just sweep this up. Excadrill can just take this and just go, you know what? This is perfect. Thought this would be the loop. Okay. We're good. Okay. I want to hit you so bad with the laser. Oh man, I want to hit you with the laser so bad. You know what? I'm going to just go for Hyper Voice. Meteor Beam, right? Take out the Valiant. I like that. You don't protect your Weezing. That's crazy to me. But okay. You do you. What is happening? Oh my gosh. I'm still getting this wheezing. 
Oh man, you not protecting was a very bad play. I'm not going for Trick Room. I never wanted Trick Room. I just wanted you dead. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes. Get it. Get it, Necrozma. Done. Gone. Gone. Get off my board. Perfect. They're like, Psh, but I still have Calyrex. Look at my Calyrex here. I'm like, I see it. It's cool. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna do it. You're so gone. Yay. They don't see it. They don't see it coming. They do not see this. They don't, okay? I promise to each and every one of you, they don't see this coming. I swear if they click like astral earth power into my boy, I'm gonna be so sad, but it's okay. It is absolutely fine. Like the crazy part about that is because of the sand, the rock, I get a special defense boost. So <laughs> It is, like, absolutely lovely, this combination. <laughs> it's okay, T-Tar. Look at those little muscles. Oh, T-Tar. I'm gonna protect your Cali. You gonna plot? You gonna nasty plot with Calyrex? What you gonna do? What you gonna do, huh? What you gonna do? Oh! <laughs> well, it's dead. <laughs> it's so gone. <laughs> They're like, they didn't see this coming. Watch this big damage while I protect my Calyrex and hit with my Blood Moon. <laughs> You're so gone. <laughs> Bring out the laser. Oh, it's so beautiful. It is so gone. Yes. Look at the laser. Oh my gosh. You're done. You're done. Get your Shadow Rider off my screen. I'm done with you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh man. Hitting him up with the prismatic laser. That is so funny. <laughs> yes. See, what did I tell you? The laser cooks. Man, that match couldn't have gone any better. Like, that was just textbook. To the T on what I wanted. So, 535. All right. Hey, we are positive with the laser. This is the laser beam team. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. It is so good. Now, please, as always, let me know in the comment section if you guys want to see anything specific. If you want me to make a team with a certain Mon that you think would be entertaining, let me know. I promise you I can find a way to do it. I promise you. I can find a way. People might doubt. But your favorite Mons can be useful. Except for Cosmog. We love him, but it'd be more moral support than anything. Which might actually end up making you win matches, so, you know? This one's scary because it's scary. Because they have weather, which beats my weather. <laughs> um, I actually really like this. Because, like, yeah, I just, I really like that. I think, oh, what do I do? Is it T-Tar? It's either T-Tar, like, to be honest, and all these mons make sense. I've got to bring out the laser. It's the it's the laser beam team. I'm sorry, Gurin. Gurin is a good Excadrill, okay? He is a phenomenal Excadrill. But for right now, Gurin needs to stay home. And we need to showcase the laser. The laser beam is what we need. It needs to happen. Everybody didn't know that they needed the laser beam in their lives until they saw this team. And then they were like, wow, 
Laser beam. Yes. Laser beam. That hat is pretty stellar, bruh. Oh. Well. Hmm. You definitely don't click. I think I just trick room here. Who do you have in the back? No one that likes trick room. Do I tear a dark wicked blow immediately? Trick room. I just don't know if regular wicked blow would kill. Yeah, I'm gonna tear a dark wicked blow. Because I don't know if wicked blow would get it. So. Okay, let's see what comes out. The sleepy! He's a Rillaboom! He's going for the E speed. He's showing his speed. He brought the Rilla. Now he's showing the speed. Should be able to get it, though. Hopefully they tear a Dragonite here. Like, I, I really hope so. Oh my gosh, the reason why that's so good is because now, now they can't <laughs> tear a Calyrex. Yay! They're like, I did it, look at my Terra. You think your Urshifu can live? Yes, because it's sashed. And I would have lived anyway, I guess. Okay, well. Boom. Nice. That was good damage. That was good damage. Okay. Hmm. I think detect and yeah, I like that. That'd be good. That would be a good turn. I would say so. I do say so. This would be that moment where Expanding Force would come in clutch, but don't let people tell you otherwise. Laser's the way to go. Okay? 100%. Laser's the only way. It's the only way. Okay, perfect. We get the Detect off. What do they do? They don't go for Fake Out, so I could have just destroyed something. Okay, that's fine. Perfect. Perfect. Dragonite is literally useless to me right now, so they're going to switch. Um, I definitely think I'm going to just switch into Ndidi. <laughs> I want to hit him with the laser so bad. But the, the better play is to go for Meteor Beam so I get the boost. Then I'm hitting him with the laser. You know what? The laser might have been the play. Because if I just get Rillaboom off the board, I'm going to see with this damage right here... If getting <laughs> Rillaboom off the board was the play. Okay, out comes Champow. Okay. Urshifu comes back. Ndidi hits the field. Look at Ndidi and their perfect little muffin top. He's just a muffin boy. Muffin lad. A Muffin Mam. There we go. The Muffin Mam. Let's see. I want to see if the laser would have gotten it. Oh, I should have hit you with the laser. Well, you got yourself anyway. Goodbye. Goodbye. Yep. We did it. We did it. Our mission's complete. We got him. All we needed to do. Dragonite should come back out. And then I'm in a weird. Pelipper. May I ask you why? <laughs> I'm so doing it. I'm so doing it. You're getting hit with the laser. <laughs> the Pelipper's going down. There's nothing. There's nothing they can do. Pelipper's getting hit with the laser. <laughs> Watch them be like, nah, I'm Terra Dark Pelipper. 
But they already tear teared their Dragonite, so we're good. Laser! <laughs> it's gone! Oh, the Pelipper didn't even have a chance! And it's not Spinner, so we get to keep our terrain, which is really bad for them. Because Titar, Titar now goes RAR. And with that RAR, it's the game. I'm just going to go for knockoff into Dragonite because I don't want to miss. So there's literally no need to gamble. Yep. I was like, why didn't I attack? What's going on? But I have to recharge the laser. It sucks that Chien Pao's a dark type. So I'd hit him with the laser again. There's nothing you can do, Chien Pao. They're like, I'm gonna one-shot your T-Tar and I'm gonna carry through the rest of this match. You'll see. I'm like, you know what? You might. You might do that, Chien Pao. But I'm not hitting that. I don't want to. Because if I miss, I just lose. So I just go, bam! Okay. The Bandit Dragonite is down. They didn't even bring their Restricted. That makes me sad. Nice. And then I'm... Oh. I mean, I'm, I'm just going to go for Rock Slide then. And I'll go for Trick Room. You want the for sure win con. You need the for sure win con. Set the trigger again. Because they are going to be faster than Foo. And like I'm sure Moon Guy's beam gets close, but it's not. That yeah, it's not. It's not. This battle's gone on long enough, friend. It was it was a valiant effort on your part, but you uh you lost here. Yeah, there's a Psychic Terrain, my friend. Let's see how much this does. I'm curious. Oh my gosh, it almost kills anyways. I mean, Dawn Wings is pretty strong. People think, you know, oh, Dawn Wings. They think it's weak. No. It is powerful. There we go. That... That is it, right there. That's what I'm talking about. That's what it all comes down to, okay? Everybody thinks, you know, you gotta do these fancy, crazy plays, but you keep it simple. You go for prismatic laser. Easy, okay? Easy, and it gets you wins. You get more points. Yay, points. Top 500, yes. The Legend of Alola. We have one more, one more game out of our five. Let's see what happens. Franz. Franz. Franz? Hmm. Oh, Franz. It's, it's just textbook at this point. <laughs> I mean, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Your one Trick Room on is Farigarath. <laughs> and I get that you have Tailwind, okay? But, you're not ready for this Meteor Beam, okay? You're just not. This Meteor Beam, it changes lives. All right, it absolutely changes lives. No one's gonna see it coming. They're gonna be like, oh, well, you know, psh, we can handle a regular meteor beam. There's no way they'd be Terra Rock, and that's where they thought wrong. Okay, that is where they thought wrong.
We'll get it. We'll get him. Oh no! They have Tailwind! We should have known! It's blasphemy. I don't think Talonflame is even a threat right now. They definitely have Mons in the back that are ready for Trick Room. So I just do this. Because, you know what? Volt Switch is coming, okay? Volt Switch is coming. I don't need to worry about the Talonflame. Like, if they want to click Tailwind against a really slow team, go for it. <laughs> I'm assuming they have Taunt. Like, Taunt could happen. I, I just, I, I don't know. I don't know what Talonflame does other than go Tailwind. Okay, do they have Flare Blitz? Does Iron Hands come in? So many questions. So little answers. Find out next week on Dragon Ball Z. Oh, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. What do you do? Not burn my, my laser. He burned the laser! Why would you do that? It's, it's just a laser, man. That's all they're trying to be is the laser. That's all. And you took it from him, Chien Pao. Haha! -ha. With you burning Necrozma, I don't... I don't, like... Who's your other Mon? I don't think I necessarily need to set Trick Room. So, I'm gonna Moon Guys Beam Talonflame. And I'm gonna switch into T-Tar. We're gonna Terra Rock. Because, like, I don't want to set Trick Room and let something like Iron Hands just sweep me because it will. <laughs> and that's super scary, so. Okay. Perfect. Jam Pao stays in. It's all according to plan. It's time. They're like, what? No way! As long as we move, I am way good. Even with the burn on T-Tar, I'm fine. I just want Talonflame out of here. If Talonflame goes down, we're in a beautiful, yeah, we're in a beautiful spot. Beautiful. I can't believe they went for Crash. Now that makes me feel like I wasted my Terra. But in the same sense, like, so, this next turn, um, I mean, it really all depends, like, if they brought hands, it would need to be faster than my Necrozma, which very well could be the case. Like, it could be faster. Oh, we get to see if it is or not. Um, that's, this is where it gets a little spooky, because... This might seem crazy, but I think I live. I am positive I will live the electric attack. Because I have that. I have this play. I will not live <laughs> the fighting move from Iron Hands, so... I am going to hit your iron hands with the laser. <laughs> it will fall. All right, special defense of champions right here. Let's see if it's enough. I mean, Choice Specs Baridon is still really strong, 
Like, it is still incredibly powerful. So let's see if it's strong enough to hold on. Here comes a Toy Specs Electro Drift. <laughs> yeah, yes! <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh, that was so beautiful! Oh my gosh! Oh, how perfect! How perfect is that? There's no way. Oh my gosh. Oh, and we all know how strong Toy Specs Maridon is, and it couldn't take it out. We got him. We got him. That's a, that's a GG if I've ever seen one. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm just going to go for the move that hits, and we're going to helping hand. Oh, man. Oh, that feels so good. Oh my gosh. I can't believe we lived that. That is beautiful. All right. Whew. That, my friends, is a game well played. Oh my gosh. That was just fantastic. Let's see where we finish off for the day. We see where we're going to sit. We switch the teams. We are at 358 on the ladder. 358 after that session. That is fantastic. That is absolutely fantastic. And again, I will put the rental code back up on the screen for you guys, just so you guys can use it if uh, you guys want to. So yeah, here's gonna be the team. I would recommend the few changes I would make um, is uh, Stellar Terra on Excadrill, kind of like the same way we ran treads last week. Um, but other than that, I mean, like, really, if you guys want to, like, oh, well, this team needs to, you know, I want it to perform really well. To be honest with you, like, Prismatic Laser is not going to be as good as Expanding Force. But it is a big funny button. And I just found this to be so much fun. And I think for ladder, this is phenomenal. So we went 4-1 and one with this team. I think it was a lot of fun. I really, really loved this. So if you guys want to see any more specific teams or anything else, just let me know down in the comment section below. Please share around. I want to be able to kind of branch out and be able to share as many battle teams as possible because I am thinking of this stuff all the time. And to be able to share it with the community, to be able to have so many fun ideas out on the field, is it just makes the game better. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the day. Continue to live large. Peace.